This is Mambo number five. A little bit of Monica in my life, a little bit of Erica by my side, a little bit of Rita's all I need, a little bit of Tina's what I see, a little bit of Sandra in the sun, a little bit of Mary all night long, a little bit of Jessica, here I am, a little bit of you makes me your man. Like this, then you're doing it. A little bit of Monica in my life. A 
little bit of Erica by my side. A little bit of Rita's all I need. A little bit of Tina's what I see. A little bit of Sandra in the sun. A little bit of Mary all night long. A little bit of Jessica, here I am. A little bit of you makes me your man. Ladies and gentlemen, we're still waiting on a couple of breeds, uh, best of breeds uh, for the collecting ring. A couple of breeds that are absent from the collecting ring. This gives me the opportunity to advise you, uh, perhaps you picked up a flyer, but on the 22nd of February next year, which is the 40th anniversary of Gundog Breeds Association of Scotland, we have the top dog event, as we normally have, uh, which has been held this year at the Stirling Court Hotel in Stirling. And following the top dog event, um, we have a dinner dance, which is obviously being held in the same hotel. So there are forums at the office for people to complete their claim forums for the top dog event plus the top, top puppy event and of course the top veteran event for this year. So that's the 22nd of February. Put that in your diary, folks. And um, you can book rooms at the hotel if you wish to stay the night. And um, David Shields is the man to contact for tickets for the event, which should be a good evening following the uh, top dog event in the afternoon. Trumpet. The trumpet. Okay, we're almost ready now for the gun dog group and best in show. So waiting in the wings we have our president Gordon Harden who is with our best in show judge today. So let's have a nice big uh, Scottish welcome to Mr. Richard Stafford. <laughs> now those of you who have bought a catalogue will see on the first cover, inside the cover, Richard's CV. So have a read your a read of that through during the process of Richard judging rather than me read this out to you. So I think we're ready for the dogs to come in. So show your appreciation, folks, for your best breeds. And the first one leading off is the Black and Italian Row, followed by the Brittany, the English Setter. The German long haired pointer. The German short haired pointer. The German wide haired pointer. The Gordon Setter. The Hungarian Wiesler. The Hungarian wide haired Wiesler. The Irish Rebel White Setter. The Irish Setter. The Italian Spinoni. The Legato Romagnolo. Large Munsterlander. The Pointer. Chesapeake Bay Retriever. The Curly Coated Retriever. The flat coated retriever, the golden retriever, the Labrador retriever, Nova Scotia Buck retriever. You've got some supporters. The American Cocker, the 
from the Spaniel. A counter Spaniel. An English Spaniel Spaniel. The Fiend Spaniel. The Irish Water Spaniel. The Sussex Spaniel. The Welsh Springer Spaniel. Spanish Water Dog. Van Banana. And last we have the best import register, the Cortez Griffin. Okay, first to be examined today is the Bracco Italiano. At this show, we had three judges from overseas. And Mr. Ray Oliveira judged this breed, amongst several other breeds today. In the Braccos, there were 17 dogs entered, and the best of breed was the dog number eight. Now we have the Brittany, judged today by James Peter Harper, and there were four dogs entered, and best of big was the bitch number 21. Ladies and gentlemen, that was a Brittany. Best breed, Brittany. Can all the best puppy in breeds please report to ring four? All best puppies to ring four, please. Mr. Stafford is now going over the English setter, judged by Mr. Rui Oliveira. There were 38 dogs entered today, and the dog was best to breed, its number being 53. That's the English setter.
Next to be examined is the German long hair pointer, judged by Mrs. P.D. Edison today, and there were three dogs entered. The best to beat was the dog number 62. German long hair pointer. Now we have the German short hair pointer, again judged by Mrs. P. Edison. Sixty five dogs entered. The bitch was best to breed its number being 106. The German short hair pointer. Can again one more call, please, for all best puppy and breeds to ring four, please. All best puppy and breeds to ring four.
the Golden Searcher first to greet. 158. Now we have the Hungarian Gisla, judged by Kevin Gruko. There was 53 dogs entered today. The bitch was best to breed. Its number was 252. That's the Hungarian Gisla. The Hungarian Gisla. And next up we have the Hungarian Wild Hair Gisla. Again judged by Kevin Gruko. There were five dogs entered and the dog was best to breed. It's number 288. The Hungarian right here to Gisla. Right round, please. Take right round. Thank you.
the Italians for the money. Now we have the Liberto Romagnolo, judged today by Rui Oliveira. There were eight dogs entered, and the dog was best to beat. It's number double four zero. This is a large booster lander, judged by Kevin Gruco. There were six dogs entered today, and the dog number 3434 four was best to beat. That's 434, four. the large monster lander. That is the pointer, judged by Mrs. Janet Drake. Today there were 81 dogs entered, and the dog number 497 was best to breed. That's 497. the point of ladies and gentlemen that's the group next up is the Chesapeake Bay Retriever judged by Eddie Webster today there were five dogs entered the dog was best to breed and it's number five two six
the Chesapeake Bay Retriever. And now it's the turn of the curly coated retriever, judged by Rui Oliveira. Today there were 16 dogs entered, and the bitch was best to breed. It's number 545. 545. was a curly coated retriever. Now we have the flat-coated retriever, judged by uh, Mrs. Vivian Stook. Today there were 106 dogs entered, and the best to beat was the dog, number 613. The flat coated retriever. Next up we have the, the Golden Retriever. Again, there were two judges today. The dogs were judged by Mr. Frank White and the bitches were judged by Wayne McGrath from Australia. In total, there were 176 entered and the bitch was best to breed its number 806. And that was the Golden Retriever.
Next up to be examined is the Labrador Retriever. Again, two judges today. The dogs were judged by Mrs. Marlon Nightingale. And the bitches were judged by Mr. Frank Gilroy. In total, there were 117 entered, and the dog was best to breed 9 to 4. 9 to 4. of the retriever breeds to be seen as the Nova Scotia Duckton Retriever, judged today by Rui Oliveira. And there were 13 dogs entered today, and the dog number five, sorry, 951 was best of breed. That's 951. The Nova Scotia Duck Tolling Retriever. Table now is the American Cocker Spaniel, judged today by Jesse Masden from Denmark, who also judged a few other breeds. In Americans, there were 25 dogs entered, and the best breed was the dog. It's number 959. The American Cocker Spaniel. Now it's the turn of the Clumber Spaniel. Again judged by Jesse Madsen from Denmark. And there were eight entered today. And the bitch was best to breed. It's number 982. That's the Clumber.
the Clumber Spaniel. On the table now we have the Cocker Spaniel. This is the first year that Gundog Breeds of Scotland have had CCs for this breed for several years. So we are grateful to the Kennel Club to give us the CCs back for Cocker Spaniels. Today the judge, the breed was judged by Carlos Sevic and there were 94 dogs entered. The dog was best to breed its number 1014. The Cocker Spaniel. Now it's a turn of the English Springer Spaniel. Judged by Jesse Masden, I understand that this is Jesse's first breed, the English Springer Spaniel, so she's classed as a specialist. Today there were 55 dogs entered and the bitch was best to breed, it's number 1095. English Springer Spaniel. Now it's a turn of the field Spaniel. Once again, judged by Jesse Masden. And there were five field Spaniels entered today. The dog, it's number 1143, was best to breed. The field spaniel. Now 
Now it's the turn of the Irish Water Spaniel, once again, judged by Jesse Masden. Two dogs entered. The dog was best to beat, double one, four, five. Now it's the turn of the Sussex Spaniel. Once again, Josie Masden judged this breed. Uh, she had many breeds to do today, so we've worked her hard today. There were six dogs entered. The best to beat was a dog, double one, four, six. That's the Sussex Spaniel. And that was the Sussex Spaniel. Now it's the turn of the Welsh Springer Spaniel, judged by Jane Jackson. Today there were 54 dogs entered. The dog was best to breed. It's number 1195. The Welsh Springer Spaniel. turned off the Spanish water dog and this is the last breed that Jesse Mazin had to judge today. There were nine dogs entered. 
and the bitch was best to breed its number one two double one. It's the Spanish water dog. Spanish water dog. <laughs> now it's a turn off the vine, Marana. Judged by Mrs. Eileen Hughes. A nice entry of 83 dogs. And the bitch, 1248, was best to breed. The Vaimarana. And last to be seen, the best from the import register today, which was judged by Eddie Webster. And this is the Courthouse Griffin. It's number 1301. And it's a dog. The Courthouse Griffin.
Mr. Stafford just having his final look before he does a short list. Out comes the Brittany. In the setter. German short hair pointer, German wire hair pointer, Gordon Center, the Hungarian Visma, the Irish Center, the Italian Spinoni, the Gotto Romano, the pointer, the Golden Retriever, the Curly Coated Retriever, the Nova Scotia Duck Fulling Retriever, the American Cocker Spaniel, the Cocker Spaniel, the English Springer Spaniel, the Welsh Springer Spaniel, and last, the Weimar. Show your appreciation, ladies and gentlemen, for the best of beats who didn't quite make the short list. Well done today. Okay, it's your turn, ladies and gentlemen, now to make some noise and show your appreciation for your favourites. So that was the Brittany who went first, and now we have the English setter. Come on, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together. That's better. The German short hair pointer. The German Warrior Pointer. The Golden Setter. The Hungarian Vizsla. Keep it going, make some noise, folks. Let's create an atmosphere. Here we go with the Irish setter. Followed by the Italian Spadoni. Let's hear it for the Legato Ragnolo. Here we go with the pointer. Here we go for the curly quarter retriever. And this is the golden retriever. Here we go with the Nova Scotia Duck Dolling Retriever. The American Cocker Spaniel. Make some noise for the Cocker Spaniel. Here we go with the English Springer Spaniel. Show your appreciation for the Welsh Springer Spaniel. And last but not least, the Ray Marana. I don't know if Mr. Stafford will do a final shortlist. Yes, he will. He's given me the nod.
first out is the pointer, the golden retriever, the American Cocker Spaniel, the English Springer Spaniel, the Welsh Springer Spaniel, and the Bamanana. And once again, ladies and gentlemen, show your appreciation for the ones who made the first short list. That was the pointer. And here we go with the golden retriever. Let's hear it for the American Cocker Spaniel. One more time for the English Springer Spaniel. Let's hear it for the Welsh Springer Spaniel. And lastly, the Vamanana. So what's it going to be, ladies and gentlemen? What's it going to be? It's the pointer! Best in show, the pointer. Reserve best in show goes to the Granada. Group three, here we come. Group three, who's it going to be? It's the Golden Retriever! Group four is the West Springer Spaniel. Congratulations to the American Cocker and the English Springer Spaniel who made it to the last six. Well done, well done everyone. Is that person showing the Raimanana? Group three, the Golden Retriever. And group four, the Welsh Springer Spaniel. Could group three and group four go to the Arden Grange stand for photographs? That's group three and group four to the Arden Grange stand. I take this opportunity of thanking our main sponsor for this show, as has been for several years, Arden Green. So we're very, very grateful for their support and all that they do for Gun Dog Beats of Scotland. That's Arden Green.
Ladies and gentlemen, calling all the best veterans, please. That's all the best veterans. Could you report to ring four? We're just about to do the puppies now, once everybody's settled down. And once again, we have uh, our president, Gordon Harden, coming into the ring with our judge for today. So let's have a nice warm welcome for Kate Keeley. Come on, ladies and gentlemen, you can do better than that. That's better. So here we go with the first puppy in, and this is the Baracco Italiano. Followed by the English setter. The German long hair pointer. The German short hair pointer. And the Gordon setter. The Hungarian Dizla. The Hungarian wild here, Dizla. The Irish setter. The Italian Spinoni. The Legato Rubagnolo. Large Munster Lander. The Pointer Puppy. Curly Coated Retriever. The Flat Coated Retriever. The Golden Retriever. The Labrador Retriever. Nova Scotia, Dr. Lindbergh Retriever. The American Cocker Spaniel. The Cocker Spaniel. English Springer Spaniel. Field Spaniel. I think it's the Welsh Springer Spaniel coming with. Yes, we can see it now. Welsh Springer Spaniel. Spanish water dog, vine banana, and last we have the import register once again, the Cortals Griffin. Take them round, please. That's it. Let me say a few words about our best puppy judge today, Kate Keeley. She was born into the Shipton Kennels of English Springer Spaniels, and Kate is the third generation of English Springer Spaniel a breeder and exhibitor. Kate won her first CC in 1971, although she doesn't look really that old enough, but anyway, and she first awarded CCs in 1982. Shipton has titled, and that's an Australian term for made up, many English Springer Spaniels and Kate titled her own Sussex and a homebred field Spaniel. In Australia with husband Michael, she titled many top winning English Springers under her Alhambra at Prefix. We also won speciality best in show with Cockers and American Cockers. And Kate is a FCI approved judge for Gun Dogs and the Hound Group. And finally, Kate has judged in the UK several times, as well, of course, as Australia, New Zealand, Scandinavia, and the USA. And that is Kate Keeley, and we're very happy to have Kate judge our Best Puppy and Show Award today. And don't forget that Kate has prejudged these puppies, so it's a case of having a final look before she does her shortlist.
So out comes the Braco Italiano, the Irish setter. The Grotto Lagotto Romagnolo, the Canocotto Retriever, the Black Cotto Retriever, the Nova Scotia Duck Tolling Retriever, the Welsh Springer, and the Spanish Water Dog. So, show your appreciation, ladies and gentlemen. I think we've got banana come out as well. Yes. Show your appreciation, ladies and gentlemen, for the ones, the best puppies who didn't quite make the first shortlist. Come on, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, put your hands together. Thank you. So Kate's going to move them probably for the last time, perhaps. And this is the Braco we tell you, Anna, so show some support for the Braco. Yes. Put your hands together for the Irish setter. Now it's the turn of the Lagotto and Romagnolo to move. And here we go with the curly coated retriever. There's a turn off the flat coated retriever. Come on, show your favourites your support. Thank you. Let's hear it for Nova Scotia Duck Dorming Retriever. Now it's the turn of the American Cocker Spaniel. Here we go with the Cocker Spaniel. Welsh Springer Spaniel. Come on, put your hands together, ladies and gentlemen. There's some Welsh people still left in the audience. Spanish Water Dog. Here we go with a vine banana. So what's it going to be? What's it going to be? Best Puppy Gun Dog Beats Associates Club Scotland 2019 is going to the... 
Yes, we go to the Well done, well done, well done. Where's the reserve going to? Reserve those puppy in show, the Irish setter. Group three, Pepe is going to first. Calico to Retriever. In group four, Pepe, where is it going to? It's going to the American Cocker Spaniel. Put your hands together for the others who didn't quite make the last four. Well done to the puppies. Well done to Kate. So put your hands together one more time for the puppies. Group one winner, the Legato Limit Lolo. Group two, the Zone Best Puppy, the Irish Setter. Group three, the Color Court of Retriever. And group four, Puppy, the American Cocker Spaniel. Well done to all four. Once again, please come in third and fourth. Uh, third and fourth in the puppy group to the Arden Green Stand. That's third and fourth in the puppy group to the Arden Green Stand. We'll be about five minutes now, folks, before we do the, the veteran group. So, chill out. Once again, can I remind you about the Gundog Beats Association of Scotland Top Dog Event, 22nd of February, followed by the dinner dance in the Stirling Court Hotel in Stirling. For more details, check the website.
Can we have the Irish setter who was reserved by puppy into the ring, please?
So here we go with the veterans, and it's uh, welcome back to the main ring for our judge, Mr. Richard Stafford. So I think we've got the veterans lined up, ready to go. And here we go. First of all is the Brittany. Followed by the German short hair pointer. The Golden Setter. The Irish Setter. Tarun Spinoni. Lodge Winsterlander. And the Pointer. Flat Coated Retriever. And the Golden Retriever. The Labrador Retriever. The American Cocker Spaniel. Cocker Spaniel. Field Spaniel. The World Springer Spaniel. And lastly, the Van Marano. That's your veterans, ladies and gentlemen. While you're still here, please support these veterans. And once again, don't forget, the veterans have been prejudged by Mr. Stafford. Mr. Stafford is not going to shortlist, so it'll be straightforward. One, two, three, four. <laughs> this veteran in show is the Brittany! Congratulations! And the best, uh, best veteran show goes to the field spaniel, I think, yes. It's a bit of doubt in the exhibitor's mind, but it is true, it's come true. You are reserved best veteran in show. Group 3, Betton, who's it going to go to? It's the Labrador Retriever. And finally, Group 4, Betton, is the Irish Setter. So finally, ladies and gentlemen, I ask you to put your hands together for all the uh, Betton's that didn't quite make the last four. And congratulations to the ones who were one, two, three, and four. So let's hear it one more time. Best veteran in show is the Brittany. Is our best in veteran in show is the Field Spaniel. Group three veteran, the Labrador. And group four veteran is the Irish Setter. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for another year. And once again, thank you for your support on behalf of the Committee of Gun Dog Breeds Association of Scotland. And we all hope to see you at the Top Dog event on the 22nd of February. And then we've got the Open Show in Perth on the 20th of March at Perth. And next year, of course, is our 40th anniversary celebration, so we all hope that you'll come along and support and enjoy with us. And once again, a big thank you to our main sponsor, Arden Grange.